New York City half? Yeah. It's an interesting storyline. Weather was cold, windy. You can discount the times. Don't worry too much about the times. Women's side, things went to form. Helen O'Beary, she got the win. She's the favorite coming in. We all expected her to, to get the victory. Men's side, Kip Limo v. Chepta guy. That's what we wanted to see. And for the second race in a row now, Kip Limo gets the victory over his countrymen. You said this is going to be important later on down the, I did. In the season. And I better hold myself to this when I make major <laughs> wagers on the Budapest Championships yeah. in uh, 2023. But yeah, Kip Limo, he's kind of been, been running better than Chepta guy lately. Yeah, both of them were – one was a cross-country race. The other one was a half marathon. So this is not the same thing as beating them on the track. But they are wins against a, a quality opponent. Kip Limo, he has so much range. So – and he – world half champion. I, I think he actually probably should have been the favorite even though Chep guy, the bigger name overall just because of the, the world records and the, the gold medals on the track. But when it comes to cross, when it comes to – Half marathons, Kip Limo's proved himself to be better, you know, two times in a row. So in the 5K, it's Chepta Guy 3, mm -hmm. Kip Limo 1. In the 10K, it is – I probably should have came prepared with these. It's Chepta Guy 3, Kip Limo 0. But then you go to like half marathon, which is where we're talking about here. It is – where are you, Chepta Guy? It's Chepta Guy 2. I mean, completely Kip Limo two, 2, Chepta Guy 0. So. Yeah. What was the other one? Was it World Champs? Yeah. World Champs. And, and higher profile races for, for both of these gentlemen. You want to look farther down the men's results? There were some, some other names in there that we want to talk about. Zuhar Talbi was third. Ben True was fourth. Edward Cesarek, a second behind True, in fifth. Um, and then you have Galen Rupp. Finishing 17th in 104.57. Chris Thompson of Great Britain made a huge move in this race and ultimately fell back to, to 16th place. Rupp, I'm not surprised just because the interview he gave pre-race lowered the expectations. If he had given that same interview post-race, then I think people would have said, okay, well, why did we not get this pre-race? Yeah. Maybe he just he's coming up with some, some excuse post-race. But he's very clear up front, hey – not in the same spot that I could be in, and I don't plan to be here for very long. I plan on becoming a lot better. I'm not going to be up there with the top guys. And he wasn't with the top two guys. So he said he wasn't going to be in full form, and he wasn't in, in full form. Because the weather was bad, hard to you know, compare it to other half marathons, though, and because it was is windy and cold. But I guess with, with Rupp and any, any marathon veteran, you just want to see them in a full. Halves really never tell you much. 